Hello gang, this is Mock, and I'm here with another video about Sea of Conquest, Pirate War. Is Django a good choice for our fleet? Let's see how it works, but first, if you like my video, don't forget to like it after watching it, you know, I'll be very grateful. Django is a support hero of a rare quality, and therefore easy to get in the recruitment, and to bring him to the max level. His main skill allows up to 3 ships of our fleet to increase the rage restoring rate from 8% up to 18%. The second skill increases the attack of the ship under Django's command from 3% up to 5%. And the third skill gives us the chance that after a normal attack of the ship under Django's command, another ship of the fleet will gain rage points, effect that can be activated once every 3 seconds. There are debates about whether is it good to place him on the flagship and with that increase the rage restoring rate so that our heroes execute more rage attacks during the combat. Let's then take a look to the test results in my fleet comparing my current crews with some alternatives that includes Django on my flagship. The first setup is my normal setup, in which the flagship is crewed by Ahab, Ed and Magnus. We will simply call it Magnus. The second setup has Ahab, Ed and Django. With this one we will test how much the defense of the flagship and the fleet in general decreases when Magnus is removed, and if it effectively increases the attack power with Django. We will call it Django. The third setup we will test will be with Ahab, Magnus at the first mate position. I know he doesn't go in that position, but we will see if with this there is any change in the defense of the flagship, and also for the fleet, considering the aggro that Magnus brings. Of course, Armstrong could be in this position instead of Magnus. And obviously with Django as a gunner. We will call it Magnus plus Django. The fourth setup will be adding some attack power to the flagship, in order to see if that 5% attack bonus to the ship commanded by Django has any positive change. For this, we will add Sharky instead of Magnus. Aware that we are not only taking out a defensive hero, we are also adding a 10% defense reduction after Sharky performs his rage attack. We will keep Ahab as a captain and Django as a gunner. We will call it Sharky plus Django. As we know, Magnus is a hero of great potential. The cost in the game to get him to 3 stars as I have him is $100. But thanks to the discount that Paxify, the sponsor of this video, offers us, we get it for $90. A 10% discount on the price in USA. However, if I exchange this to my local currency, the real cost in the game for me is $122.8. So buying with Paxify at $90, the discount I am really getting is 27%. Paxify is a Discord community with more than 10,000 members that saved players more than $4.1 million over the last 3 years. And now, not only has a new face, Paxify is launching a new app that will make getting discounts completely effortless. The app will be launched in April. It's the first specialized app and the Paxify team has prepared some special bonuses for our community. Great news comes with the birth of the app, Early Bird Bonuses. For a limited time, we will be able to enjoy an additional 15% discount on top of the regular discount. Free credits. Try the service with 500 credits. No need to take out your credit card. VIP treatment. Enjoy VIP status, both the app and Discord. Exclusive access. Beta players can look forward to extra perks. Big birthday contest. Be the best and receive extra rewards as a trophy. Key player perks. If you lead an alliance or play at a very high level, you can expect tailored offers to make your team even stronger. The app will improve the service and take it to the next level, with features such as two-click sign-up, real-time order tracking, human support, reordering in just three clicks, and one currency for all games. Spots are limited, guys, so hit the link in the description to join the waiting list and secure your exclusive perks. With Paxify, we're not just playing. We are playing smarter, don't miss out. After running the attacks on level 60 armed fighters, we take the result of the attacks made by each setup and see the average result. 
The remaining health points after the fights are evidently higher in the two setups where Magnus was in the flagship, either as a gunner in the Magnus setup and even when he was misplaced as a first mate in the Magnus plus Django setup. This also matches with the results of the remaining health points exclusively for the small ships. In both cases where Magnus was part of the fleet, the damage received by the ships was lower and the remaining health was higher. If we check the remaining health of the flagship, we will see that the same results are repeated. Therefore, having a hero like Armstrong or Magnus on the tank ship definitely helped us to improve the defense of the fleet. The damage received then was also higher in the setups without Magnus, being the Django setup the highest damage taken. The damage inflicted by the fleet was the highest in the Django setup, followed by the Magnus. The lower damage was inflicted by the Sharky plus Django and the worst by Magnus plus Django. Sharky did not cause a notorious positive effect by being on the flagship to bring more attack and it was evident the impact of the armor reduction effect, since it was when the flagship had the lowest remaining health. On the other hand, we can realize something. The two setups in which the fleet inflicted the most damage have something in common. Ed. One of them with Django and the other one without him. So we could say that Ed has a greater impact on the damage our fleet can inflict. In summary, the Ed and Django combination was the one in which my fleet inflicted the most damage, but it was also the one in which my fleet took the most damage, and one of the ones in which my ships had the least remaining health, including the flagship. It seems that with Ed and Magnus or Armstrong on the flagship give us more balanced results between damage and defense. Well guys, I hope this can be helpful for you. As always, Join my Discord and follow me in my other social media. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and activate notifications so you know when I upload new content. This is Mock, I wish you all a great day, bye bye.